At six tonight, let's get right to some new reporting on the Baltimore Bridge collapse. Thank you for being here with me tonight. I'm Lorenzo Hall, so we know it has been a busy week. So let me break down the three things you need to know right now. First up, President Joe Biden says he plans to visit Baltimore sometime next week. Second, we learned crews must cut a heavy section of that bridge before that crane can lift it out. And third, Maryland State Police divers are on standby to recover the remaining workers' bodies from that water. Our Scott Broom kicks off our team coverage tonight with an update on where the investigation stands. As engineers and experts have spent the day out on the water, creating a strategy for removing the wreckage. One heavy lift crane is now already staged here for the salvage effort and more are on the way, according to Governor Wes Moore, who briefed us a short time ago. We need to clear the channel and open the vessel traffic to the port because the health of the Maryland economy and the national economy depend on it. This crane that we're looking at is massive. The thing we also know is this, so is the challenge ahead of us. And I've been informed by the U.S. Navy that they are supplying us with four heavy lift cranes. Two have already arrived, one arrives tonight, and the fourth is arriving on Monday. One of the cranes is called the Chesapeake 1000, and it can lift about 1,000 tons. But the big part and one of the challenges is that the key bridge, which sits on top of the vessel right now, that that weight is somewhere between three and 4,000 tons. So our team needs to cut that truss into sections in a safe, in a responsible, and in an efficient way before it can lift those pieces out of the water. Neither Governor Moore nor the Army Corps of Engineers is putting a time frame on when they may be able to get the shipping channel open. Engineering experts say explosives may be needed to break the bridge up into parts that can be moved. In Baltimore, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.